الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد continuing with our class 30 themes from 30 verses of the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. As we know, brothers and sisters, Ramadan is the month of the Qur'an. Yesterday we discussed what verse? Now we discussed the topic of a taqwa, piety. What was the verse, Hamza? Naam, which surah? Naam, surah al-Baqarah, what number do you read? 183, naam. Again, ikhwan, the workbook is available. Habidukum Allah. The workbook is available in our Telegram group, Al-Hikmah, on Telegram for free, inshallah ta'ala. Naam, and today, barakallahu feekum, we're going to discuss a topic that, again, will benefit us as individuals and also as a community by the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. In life, we work to better our own selves, to purify our souls, and likewise to better our communities, to better society. We discussed this yesterday and we said that in order to achieve this, a taqwa, piety, is necessary. And on this journey, our journey to the akhirah, because every one of us is going to die, none of us will be on this earth for eternity. The best provisions is a taqwa, piety. As Allah really said, فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادِ taqwa. Indeed, the best provision is piety. On this journey of self-improvement and trying to uplift our communities, not everyone is going to be happy for you as an individual, nor are they going to be happy with the progress of communities. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Qur'an, He shows us how to avoid the agendas of those who may not want good for us on our journey of self-development and improvement and trying to better our communities. Allah Azza wa Jalla shows us how to avoid their plotting and their planning when they try to sabotage our goal of bettering our own souls and bettering our communities. And today, we will discuss, Habidukumullah, a verse, Fi Surati Ali Imran. We discuss a verse in Surah Ali Imran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, In tamsaskum hasanatun tasu'hum, wa in tusibkum sayyatun yafrahu biha, wa in tasbiru wa tattaku, لا يدركم كيدهم شيئا إن الله بما يعملون محيط الله عز وجل said about the hypocrites and the hypocrites they rejoice when misfortune afflicts the believers Allah سبحانه وتعالى said about the hypocrites if good was to befall you then it grieves them they're saddened by that. And if evil was to afflict you, a calamity, they would be delighted with it. SubhanAllah, look at that. That is why, ikhwan, alhamdulillah, as Muslims, we want good for our brothers and our sisters. We don't want to see anyone's downfall. But obviously, the person wants to, must want good for themselves. 
Allah Azza wa Jal Tabaraka wa Ta'ala He tells us Naam In tamsaskum Hasanatun tasu'hum When good befalls you It grieves them Saddens them That is why brothers and sisters The believer with complete faith Is not jealous Of dunya that Allah Azza wa Jal gives to someone The believer is not slimy, treacherous. If somebody is doing well, alhamdulillah, if somebody is on a path to reform their soul and they're successful in the dunya and they're successful also religiously, we're happy for them. May Allah bless you. May Allah increase you. Allah mabarak alayk. Whereas the hypocrite is the hater. The hypocrite is the arch hater. As it relates to the believers, in tamsaskum hasanatun tasu'hum. If good befalls you, it saddens them, it grieves them. Subhanallah. And if a calamity, if evil was to afflict you, they rejoice at it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us the way our brothers and sisters. Naam, how do we protect ourselves? For those who who may want to be an obstacle on our path. Because some people may come to you and say, don't go to the masjid. Why are you going to the masjid? You don't have to go to the masjid. That person doesn't want good for you. Another person may say, don't go up there to masjid sunnah to nebawiyya. That person doesn't want good for you. They have an agenda. Because nafrah. Somebody going to the masjid. Alhamdulillah. Wafakakumullah. Allahumma barak alayk. You're with Ahl Sunnah, Alhamdulillah, Nafrah. We're delighted. Naam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Shaykh al-Islam, we will read briefly from the words of Shaykh al-Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, commenting upon this verse. And we will talk as well in a bit more detail about hypocrisy. May Allah protect us all from it. Shaykh al-Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, he said, فبين سبحانه أنه مع التقوى والصبر لا يضر المؤمنين كيد أعدائهم المنافقين. Yes. Allah سبحانه وتعالى in this verse, brothers and sisters, he said, as we find في سورة آل عمران إن تمسسكم حسنة تسؤهم. If good befalls you. It grieves them. It grieves the hypocrites. And if a calamity was to befall you, they are delighted by it. And if you are patient, and if you fear Allah, look, taqwa again, look, alhamdulillah, it builds upon what we took yesterday. If you are patient and you fear Allah, لا يدركم كيدهم شيئا their plotting and their planning will not harm you in the slightest. Inna Allah bima ya'maluna muhit. Indeed, Allah is well aware of everything that they do. Shaykh al-Islam, he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarified in this verse that piety along with patience will result in the hypocrites and the enemies of the believers not being able to harm them. You as an individual and, and as a community. Yes, when Allah Azza wa said, In tasbiru wa tattaku, la yadurrukum kaiduhum shay'a. If you are patient, sabr. We know a sabr, patience, this is the month of patience. This is shahr sabri as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam referred to it, the month of patience. If a person does not learn to be patient in this month, when will they learn ever to be patient? And patience is when the calamity strikes. Patience is when the calamity hits. This is the month of patience. وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا If you are patient and you fear Allah. Look, you are pious. You fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Look, building on what we said yesterday, taqwa, piety then their plotting and their sabotaging will not harm you in the slightest. Shaykh al-Islam said, فَبَيَّنَ subhana." Allah has really clarified that مَعَ taqwa, patience along with piety, means that the believers will not be harmed 
by their enemies from the hypocrites. May Allah as you protect us all from them. Naam. And one of the questions, Ikhwan, in the workbook, are there hypocrites present today? Yes, of course. Hypocrites exist, barakallah fikum, even today. If they existed at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then yes, they exist today. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we will see, barakallah fikum, in the Quran, he mentions their characteristics so that they can be recognized. Naam. We'll talk about some of the characteristics of the munafiqun, of the hypocrites. Likewise, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he said, he said concerning the saying of Allah Azza wa Jal, وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا لَا يَدُرُّكُمْ كَيْدُهُمْ شَيْئًا And if you are patient and you fear Allah, then they're plotting, they're planning will not harm you in the slightest. He said, this verse, وَكَذَلِكَ فِي آخِرِ السُّورَةِ وَفِي وَسَطِهَا We find this likewise at the end of the surah and in the middle, and we find in Yusuf, we find the saying of Allah Azza wa Jal, إِنَّهُ مَنْ يَتَّقِي وَيَصْبِرُ Whoever is patient, and fears Allah as well is mentioned in Surah Yusuf. He said, فَالصَّبْرُ يَدْخُلُ فِيهِ الصَّبْرُ عَلَى الْمَقْدُورِ Patience, yes. Also part of that is being patient upon what Allah has, as the has decreed for you. The three types of patience, who can tell us what they are? Fadl Naim, give me one. La, patience, Fadl. Patience in obeying Allah Azza wa Jal. Likewise, Patience in staying away from that which is forbidden. And the last type, patience in what Allah decrees for us. Patience with what Allah has just decrees for us. Even if it is something that saddens us. Yes, Shaykh Islam said, فَالصَّبْرُ يَدْخُلُ فِيهِ الصَّبْرَ عَلَى الْمَقْدُورِ Patience mentioned in these ayat, it includes also being patient with what Allah decrees for us. وَالتَّقْوَى piety فِعْلِ الْمَأْمُورِ وَتَرْكَ الْمَحْذُورِ Is performing the obligations and staying away from the prohibitions. He said, فَمَنْ جَمَعَ هَذَا وَهَذَا فَقَدْ جَمَعَ لَهُ الْخَيْرِ Whoever gathers between patience and piety, they've gathered all that is good. If you can be patient and you can be pious, then brothers and sisters, and that's a topic we're going to be, dis uh, we will discuss inshallah on a later date in this class. Allah will make you leaders. Yes, leaders from the pious. Not leaders, because there's two types of leaders. Leaders of evil that call people to the hellfire. Du'atun ala abwabi jahannam. Call us to the gates of the hellfire. Whoever responds to them will be thrown into it. May Allah protect us from that. There are, there are callers to hell. But you have callers to good. And we will discuss that as well. Remember, patience and piety... That is how Allah will make you a leader in the religion. And it doesn't matter where you are, the color of your skin or anything else. With patience, barakallahu feekum, and piety and certainty, naam, Allah Azza will make you leaders in the religion. Shaykh al-Islam said, فَمَنْ جَمَعَ هَذَا Whoever gathers patience and piety, then they have gathered all that is good. Naam. With regards to hypocrisy, there are two types of hypocrisy. Who can tell me what they are? What are the two types of nifaq? Tafadl. Naam. Hypocrisy and nifaq al-i'tiqadi wa nifaq al-amali. You have hypocrisy of belief and hypocrisy of action. What's the difference between the two? Someone from the back. So that all of us are participating. From the back. Naam, tafadl. I saw a hand going up. But we want, what's hypocrisy of belief? What is hypocrisy of belief? Abu Fatima. Something clearer. Tafadl, naam. Someone else, someone else at the back. When Allah Azza wa says, "Inna al-munafiqina fi dark al-asfali min al-nar, walan tajid lahum nasira," the hypocrites are in the lowest depths of the hellfire, and you will find no helper for them. Nam, 
That's a nifaq al-i'tiqadi. These individuals are hypocrites in their belief. What does that mean, Ab? What is it? Hypocrisy of belief. Ma huwa? Fadl, Naji. Ahsant. Naam. They pretend to believe with their tongues, but they hide in their heart disbelief. Hada mukhrij. Min al millah. That takes them outside the fold of al Islam. The hypocrites are in the lowest depths of the hellfire. May Allah protect us from that. They go, they're in hell forever. In the lowest depth of hell, as Allah has really said, and you'll find no helper for them. They are those they pretend to believe with their tongue. They say, I believe in Allah. I believe in the Prophet وسلم, but in their heart they don't believe. That's known as an nifaq al i'tiqadi. Hypocrisy of belief, and that is mukhrij. Min al millah. It takes that person outside the fold of al Islam. When they die, if they die upon that without repenting, Allah said, Inna al-munafiqeena fi dark al-asfali min al-nar. Indeed, the hypocrites are in the lowest depths of the hellfire. May Allah protect us from that. The second category is al-nifaq al-amali, hypocrisy of actions. And, brothers and sisters, as it relates to this, nam, a person, hadha, you find, it is possible that a believer, he does certain things that are actions of the hypocrites. Ma'a baqa asli iman. So that they believe, the believer, they believe, alhamdulillah. However, qajastur minu, it is possible that they transpires from that believer things, statements or actions that are from the actions of the hypocrites. This does not remove someone from the fold of Islam. And we have the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ when he said, Ayatul Munafiq Thalath. The signs of the hypocrite are three. When he speaks, he lies. What else? Who can tell me? Tfadl. And when he promises, he breaks his promise. With Tumina Khan. And when he's trusted, he proves treacherous. With a riwaya, with a khasama fajr. And when he disputes, he is abusive. Well, iyadu billah. These things, nam, are characteristics of the hypocrite. So it's possible that a believer, a believer, nam, may be abusive when they argue. That doesn't expel them from the fold of Islam. It is possible they break their promise. Well, iyadu billah. But also, we know that these are dispraiseworthy. Acts. May Allah protect us from them. Naam. And Imam Sa'di rahimahullah he said, from the kindness of Allah that he shows to the believers, Anjalla ahwal al munafiqeen is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made clear the characteristics of the hypocrites. Wa wasafam bi awsafin yatamayyazuna biha. And Allah has described the hypocrites with descriptions to allow them. To be distinguished from the believers. لِأَلَّا يَغْتَرَّ بِهِمْ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ So that the believers are not fooled by them. So that the believers are not fooled by them. Who can mention, Ikhwan, some of the characteristics of the hypocrites? And there are many. Let's just take some. Tfaddal. Lying. Yes. What else? Huh? Naam. In worship, they are lazy. Who gave me a proof of that? In worship... The munafiqoon, naam, tafadhal Abu Zakariya. Yes, no, a proof from the Quran. Tafadhal. No doubt, but give me a proof from the Quran. He said they're lazy in ibadat. There's clear proof in the Quran. MashaAllah, Sheikh Tamir. وَإِذَا قَامُوا إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ قَامُوا kusala. When they stand up to pray, they stand up and they're lazy and they're lethargic. And they want to show up for the people. May Allah protect us from that. Yes, so laziness as it relates to worship is from the characteristics of the hypocrites. May Allah protect us from that. Likewise, what else? We mentioned that. What else? Mocking the religion. Mocking the religion. That's one of the signs of the munafiqun. Mocking the religion. Playing with the religion. So mocking the religion. That's one of their clearest signs that they mock the religion. Also, what did the hypocrites, Ikhwan, what did they say about the 
memorizers of the Quran at the time of the Prophet وسلم, one of their signs is that they mock people of knowledge Ahl al-ilm wal fadl what did they say? Fadl Sheikh Tamir no they said one of the, one of the hypocrites said ma ra'aytu mithla qurra'ina he said I've never seen the like of our reciters those who have memorized the Quran he said they have the greediest stomachs the greediest bellies he said, likewise, he said they are, their tongues are the most lying of tongues and they have the most cowardice when they meet the enemy. And look, subhanAllah, how do we behave when we hear someone attacking people of knowledge, speaking ill of tulab al students of knowledge or the imams of the masjid? You put your head to the side and just remain silent? No. You don't remain silent when someone attacks ahl al-ilm or the ulama or the tulab al-ilm. Look at one of the companions. When he heard that, he said, kathabta. He said, you're a liar. He said, and you're a hypocrite. And then what did he do? Yes, because that's manhood. He went back, he told the man, he said, I'm, I'm going to tell the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about what you said. Yes, because the hypocrites, they like to hide in the dark. May Allah protect us from them. They don't want their statements to come to light. You always say, don't tell, don't tell them, don't say nothing. Okay, this is deen. Why are you hiding it? Our deen is open. Qala Allah, qala Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What we say on the mimbar is the same as what we should be saying in private. When it reached the Prophet wasallam, the Quran was revealed. Allah informed us, if you were to ask them, meaning the hypocrites, they would say, we were only playing, we were only playing in jest. We were only joking. Are you going to mock about Allah and his signs? The religion is not a joke. Are you going to mock Allah and his signs, his verses, and his messenger? Allah Azza look what he said to them. لا تعتذروا قد كفرتم بعد إيمانكم. Don't make any excuses now. It's too late. You've disbelieved after your faith. May Allah protect us all from that. Likewise, from the signs of the hypocrites, Ikhwan, التخلف عن صلاة الجماعة. Staying away from the صلاة الجماعة. Not praying in the masjid. Subhanallah. Not praying in the masjid was the, from the signs of the munafiqun, the hypocrites. Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله عنه said in the authentic hadith, نعم, Mansar wa yalqallaha. Whoever is whoever desires and is happy to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ghadan musliman as a Muslim, fal yuhafid ala ha'ula is salawat. Then let him preserve these daily prayers, the obligatory prayers, the five daily prayers. Haythu yunada bihin. Whenever the call is made for them. And Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhi said, وَمَا يَتَخَلَّفُ عَنْهَا No one stayed away from the congregation of prayer إِلَّا مُنَافِقٌ مَعْلُومَ nifaq, Except for the hypocrite and his hypocrisy was known. That's meaning when you can make it. Obviously, people work, you have things to do. We're not talking about nam. If you have a legitimate excuse and reason to not attend the masjid, you pray wherever you are. Alhamdulillah, the religion is ease from the signs of the hypocrites discouraging people to spend in the path of Allah Azza wa Jalla. So they'll discourage you. Don't spend. You know, don't, don't support an iftar. Why? Why are you doing that? They'll try and make you feel guilty or foolish. Don't clean the masjid. Why are you cleaning the masjid? Or you're not no flunky. That's from the signs of the munafiqeen. May Allah protect us from that. Because somebody wants good for you, he's going to push you to go do good. I'm going to clean the masjid. You come in, I'm, I'll be there, inshallah ta'ala. And we have brothers, wallahi, alhamd, wallahi, they come, they clean the masjid. You don't even know who they are. They'll come three in the morning. Hakeda. That's how we're going to build communities. That's how we build communities. Doing things for the sake of Allah Azza Whether you're seen or whether you're not seen. Naam, likewise, from the signs of the hypocrites, Havidhukum Allah is that they're always causing fitna between the believers. They keep fitna going. And there's other signs as well. They enjoin what is evil and they forbid what is good. And we could go on and on about that. Like in Naktafi Bihada. We'll suffice with that. Adhan, inshallah, is uh, baqiya qaleel. We'll mention a few things after the adhan, inshallah.